Welcome back to another video. This video, I wanted to try something that has been kind of in my brain of crafts to try for a while now, and it is making mugs. By making mugs, I mean decorating mugs with vinyl. So I have these five mugs that I've just made. Basically the process that I did was I had the design that I wanted to make in my Cricut design space. I needed to make three at one go. So I duplicated the design once I had it sized and everything ready to go. I got everything cut out and then I started weeding everything and I am using permanent vinyl. So after I weeded it all out, my design, I needed to combine the colors. So I started with the lettering. The way that the designs are on these mugs, I'm doing the lettering on one side and the logo itself on the other side. So I lined up the red lettering with the rest of the black lettering. And once I got that, then I started playing around with getting it fit onto the mug. And this is where that parchment paper hack that is all over the internet for vinyl comes in so critically because it is so difficult to get things lined up straight on a curved mug. You can see on this mug, it was the very first one that I made, and you can see how not straight that is at all. And even this one, you can see the lettering at the bottom a little bit is kind of crooked and it's just, it's not as good as it could be. Once I had the design all transferred onto my transfer tape, I put it on the parchment paper so that I could lay it and move it around on the mug so I could hold it up and look at it from different angles to make sure it was as straight as I wanted it to be. Now, I know this is kind of a really, really fast run through of how to do this, but this isn't a full blown tutorial. This is more so bringing you along with me while I try this. From what I have read online, you can layer vinyl on mugs. I was thinking, I, I feel like that would, it would peel easier that way in my head. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never tried it before. This is the first time I'm doing this. When I made this design, I specifically cut out the red out of the black so that I would have to fit it in kind of like a puzzle piece into the black instead of having it be all of the black and then adding a layer of white and then adding a layer of red on top of it. So I just cut it out so that the color of the mug shows through for the white and then the red fits in where it needs to fit in. I might try it at some point again in the future layering vinyl because Layering it can be a lot simpler and a lot more forgiving than slicing all of the layers and having to piece it all together perfectly because you're more likely to see the tiny little gaps everywhere if you're piecing it together rather than if you're just layering it on top of each other. Once all of that was done, I was left with these three mugs and I actually realized I never explained it. These are the logos for the church that Dan and I are helping to plant here in Indiana. So this is the logo. And then on the back, Redeeming Life Fellowship is the name of the church. So I am making these mugs for our church because I've never done this before. These are kind of the test dummies, if you will. I got all three of the mugs done. I am pretty happy with how they turned out. I got the lettering, I think, as straight as I could get it. The whole point of making this video is because I want to experiment. Like I said, these are the test dummies. So I wanted to make these mugs, but I wanted to make them as good as they could be. I don't want to just stick vinyl on it, leave it at that, and give it as a gift and be like, oh, by the way, you have to be super careful so the vinyl doesn't come off. Like, I want to be able to give this as a gift and be like, hey, if you have a dishwasher and you're used to just throwing dishes in the dishwasher, I don't want to add any extra work for you. So these are dishwasher safe. Currently with this vinyl on, they're not technically dishwasher safe anymore because the dishwasher can peel off this vinyl. I have seen videos where people test it and the vinyl does hold up in the dishwasher. With this particular <laughs> design, there's so many itty bitty pieces I don't trust that to hold up in the dishwasher. I trust it to get destroyed in the dishwasher. But we're gonna find out. I went to the store. 
I love rolling chairs. I went to the store, the craft store, and I got some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And I have seen this all over the internet for making mugs dishwasher safe. Basically, you just apply it like you would Mod Podge, let it cure, and it seals the vinyl in onto the mug. And then it's dishwasher safe because then this is nice and hard and secure and, and, and you're good to go. The only downside to this is the cure time, which is 28 days. So that's where the experimenting comes in because I've heard lots of good things and lots of bad things about this. The good things being that you put it on, it dries, it cures, and then it lasts, your mugs last in the dishwasher for a long time. The bad parts being that if you apply the layers too thick on your mug, that it can take longer than 28 days to fully cure. And if you put it in the dishwasher before it's fully cured and dried and hardened, then your design will end up getting really like milky in color. Or if you apply it with a paintbrush, a lot of times it'll dry and you will see the paintbrush strokes and you can't get rid of that. What I'm going to try to do, I bought these foam brushes from the dollar store and I'm going to try to apply the Mod Podge with these foam brushes to these three mugs. I think you have to do several layers between two to three coats it is what it recommends. And the dry, you have to let it dry in between each coat, which is about one to two hours between each coat. So this is gonna take several hours just to get them ready to cure. And then it's gonna take a month to fully cure them. I, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to use these sponges in hopes of avoiding any brush marks, brush strokes. And then I'm going to try to apply as thin of layers, but fully covering the design at the same time. And let this cure for the full 28 days. And then I will jump back here, show you what they look like at the end of the 28 days, run them through the dishwasher, see how they come out. These three are going to be the dishwasher cured ones. I have two other mugs though that you saw at the beginning of the video, which were these two mugs. These two were my test dummies before the test dummies. These guys I put together, a little bit of coffee left in that one. Huh. These two I made to give our pastor options of what kind of design he wanted. So this one you can see it's the same mug as these, but the design has the logo and the words all on the same side. And then the other side is just completely blank. This one, it is a different mug and it actually has a harsher curve going down because it's smaller. This one has the logo on one side and the words on the other. They're really, really uneven words. <laughs> Everybody that looked at them agreed that they liked this design better with the two sides, which is why I went with that for these three. These two are going to be sort of my controls in this hypothesis. Experiment? Maybe. I'm trying to remember all the words I learned in science class. This one is the exact same mug as those. I use the exact same vinyl. The only difference to those is that this has had vinyl on it probably, I think it's been a day longer than those have. That's the only difference. This one, I am not gonna put the Mod Podge on and I'm going to leave it as is. I'll reach for this mug fairly often when I go to drink my coffee in the mornings and we will run it through the dishwasher as is. Same with this one. This mug specifically is supposed to be hand washed only. I didn't realize it when I bought it, but because this little like gold ring that's in the top, that makes it like need to be hand washed only. That's kind of annoying, but I will just hand wash this one specifically. This one we'll throw in the dishwasher. We'll see how things last. So let's go ahead and set these aside and work on getting these coated. This is gonna take several hours. So I'm gonna get the first coat started and then I'll check in with you guys once it's been about an hour and a half to see if it's fully dry. We'll apply the second coat, third coat, set them aside for a month, potentially forget about them. Bad, 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 bad. I just got a little bit of Mod Podge on my phone. 
get out. I don't want my phone to be dishwasher safe. Okay, that took all of a minute to do all three of those. So now they have to stay there and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this guy out really well in hopes of being able to use him multiple more times. I will catch back up with you guys in about an hour and a half or two hours and let you see how they look. All right, it has been almost two hours. That is definitely dry to the touch. It's definitely textured. As far as like drying, it did not dry smooth, which is frustrating because you see it, it does not look as clean. Maybe a second and third coat will help that. All of these are definitely dry, so time for a second coat. All right, I just finished adding the third and final layer onto these mugs. So the next time I will check in with you guys will either be after the 28 days when these have fully cured, or if one of these two start losing any of the vinyl during the 28 days when we're washing them. All right, it has been just over a month. I applied the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge on December 24th, and it is currently January 25th. So I am well past the 28 days. These are, I mean, it's completely dry. You can, unfortunately, I don't know if it's gonna, yeah, it does pick up some, you can see. there. Yeah, you can see on like the, the, the shine that there is a texture on there, which I was really hoping to avoid, but it didn't work out that way but I mean I can scratch at it and it doesn't pick off at all like it is cured on there now as far as the feeling of the vinyl it does feel smoother on here you do still feel the raised element of the vinyl but it's it's a lot smoother it's not as harsh you definitely don't feel like you can just like it'll just peel off so that does feel nice. The same with the lettering. You can feel it's definitely raised. I mean, there's definitely vinyl there, but it seems more secure on the mug, which is really nice. I have not run these through the dishwasher at all yet, so I don't know how that part of it will hold up, if it will make it like milky, foggy looking at all, or if it'll stay clear. But during this entire month, I have been using these two mugs, which remember I was telling you were sort of the test mugs during this time. We have been drinking out of these very often and washing them and keeping track of how many times we've washed them and how they're holding up. And this mug, we have been hand washing only. And this one we have been throwing in the dishwasher after every single time we use it. And both of them are holding up really well. Surprisingly, the dishwasher one is holding up a little bit better than the hand washing one, which kind of shocked me. There is a tiny little, tiny little piece that's supposed to be right there that is missing. And I think that probably came off in the wash. This is also a tiny, tiny decal. So it's not that big of a surprise that an itty bitty little piece fell off. But other than that, this has been holding up really well. It has not peeled at all. I mean, you can still very much feel that it is vinyl on there. I mean, it is a little tiny bit rougher as far as where the edges are. Like the stick of the vinyl, it's holding up fantastically. Same with the dishwasher one. I thought for sure, because they're like these letters are really really tiny and like there's little tiny dots in there and little tiny thin lines of red and they haven't shifted they haven't come off they have not started peeling or anything like they're holding up very very well on this mug we hand washed this eight different times in the last month and I mean, obviously you don't want to be rough when you're hand washing it and like scrub it really hard or anything because that's gonna lo lower the lifespan of it significantly. But like we've been, you know, still we've been washing it, making sure it is getting clean and letting it air dry and it's held up really, really well. And for this guy, we ran this through the dishwasher 10 different times. And I mean, after 10 washes, it doesn't look like it's wearing down at all, which is fantastic. Right off the bat, a thought that I had is that using permanent vinyl on mugs, you don't really need to use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge 
unless you just really want that extra layer of protection there. If you want that second layer of protection to make sure that it stays there and stays on really well and for a really long time, like that's fantastic, go for it. But I mean, I haven't even run it through the dishwasher yet and the, the main drawback I am seeing is just the, the texture that it leaves from the brush strokes from putting it on and it's like I really I did not want that and I got it anyway even though I tried different ways to not get it and it's like if the brush strokes aren't totally smooth like that shows up really obviously like oh look I actually <laughs> I'm looking at this and I just realized I apparently touched this at some point before it was totally dry because my fingerprint is right there so that's fun yeah so I'm already seeing why this is not necessary at all because if it's holding up great in the dishwasher and it still looks good and it's that nice glossy look the whole way through instead of this glossy with this texture mixed in on some of it like i'm gonna prefer this 10 times out of 10 over that we'll run it we'll run these all three through the dishwasher because like i said i have three of these that i put the dishwasher safe mod podge on We'll run all three of them through the dishwasher. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how they come out, if it's holding up really well uh, and it's not starting to get like foggy at all. Oh, and for Christmas, I made Dan this mug of a bunch of different quotes from Cool Runnings. And we decided to throw this into the mix a little bit as well. We haven't used it very often as much. We are just hand washing this and we've only washed it like three times because we aren't using it that often. But I wanted to see how this held up because as you can clearly see, there are a lot of little tiny letters all the way around that. And so looking at it, from what I can tell, okay, it looks like we might have lost a dot from an I, but other than that, I think all of this has held up really well. Oh, and I think we lost the dot at the bottom of that question mark right there. Again, really, really tiny pieces. So my takeaway so far is if you're gonna put vinyl, permanent vinyl on your mug and you're not gonna put dishwasher safe Mod Podge on it to seal it all in, just don't put really, really tiny pieces on it. The next clip I'll put in will be showing you what they look like after they're all run through the dishwasher. All right, dishwasher is done. Let's see what these look like. Oh, all the tops of them are covered in water. That's always nice. Dry that off, let's see. I mean, that part looks pretty good. Uh, there is, can you see, I don't know if it'll show up. Can you see there is a little bit, it kind of picks up right there. There's a tiny bit of like a milky spot right there. They all look pretty good. Um, the only thing is that there was that one that had the tiniest little, I don't even, yeah, it was this one. It's just the tiniest little bit of like a milky colored, discolored spot right there. But other than that, they all look good. Everything's held on tight. It's not peeling on the edges that I can see at all. Do I take that back actually? You see that spot right there? You see that? That just peeled right off. All right, well, I'll come back in a second with my final thoughts. So final thoughts on these mugs. I think the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge has its merits and its use on mugs for sure. I don't think it's really necessary if you're using permanent vinyl. This mug has been through the dishwasher twice now. And this is one that has the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge on it. And I mean, it's holding up I don't, I really don't think it's going to chip or this, the actual logo is not going to come off anytime soon. I mean, it adds that extra layer of sort of cementing it in. So if you want extra assurance that this is not going to come off, then by all means go for the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And just be aware that you're going to have it textured wherever you apply it. Another thing you want to make sure of is that you aren't putting it too close to the rim because while this isn't toxic, it also is not food grade, meaning you don't want to eat it. So I mean, if you're drinking and it's all the way up on the rim and you get it on your mouth, like it shouldn't hurt you, but because it is not like FDA approved, I don't, I don't know. 
know that I would necessarily want to be selling a mug that has that on there close up to the rim. So just make sure whatever logo or design that you're doing that it's low enough that you don't have it on there getting up onto the actual like mouthpiece of the mug. I mean, and I think to a degree being able to feel the vinyl on there and know that you could potentially pick it off, it makes it seem the slightest bit cheaper in quality just because it isn't smooth on the mug itself. Whereas with the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, you can very visibly see it, but it is a little smoother on the mug. There's still a raised element, but it's a more seamless transition between the raised element and the flat mug itself, if that makes sense. I'm trying to be as thorough as I can with this explanation. Something I might try to do with the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, I've seen people do it, is using it almost like you would with a regular Mod Podge, where People have taken like decorative napkins, paper napkins, and have peeled them apart so there's only just the one really super thin layer of paper, but it still has that design on there. And they've cut it to whatever shape they want it to be or so that it fits on the mug at least. And then they've used the dishwasher safe Mod Podge to put it onto the mug itself. So you're decorating this mug, but you're using paper to decorate it and it's sort of the mod, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge is like sealing it in. So that's something I might experiment with in the future. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that, if you're curious if that works or not, and I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go with napkins where I can like take them apart and make it super, super thin. I'll give it a go with regular printer paper and try to put that on here and see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'd be totally game to try a handful of different methods with that. That is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching me experiment and try out different things. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see any other experiments with mugs using different materials. Um, for, I will say before I forget, I was using on all of these mugs Cricut brand permanent vinyl. I do not have any other permanent vinyl. I can also give this a go again using different brand permanent vinyl and not just Cricut brand because different vinyls are not created equally. Cricut vinyl might hold up really well, but Caesar vinyl might not hold up as well. So if you wanna see different types of vinyl being used, I would totally make two mugs and put like different vinyls on them and do one that is dishwasher safe Mod Podged and do one that is not and see how they both hold up and see if one vinyl comes off of a mug significantly easier than another in the dishwasher. So let me know if you wanna see that and I will happily do it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.